Well, this weekend we saw soaking rains and no one's happier than the fire crews on the front lines all around our state. Tonight, we're in a much better position at the end of fire season, potentially having that in sight. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Jamie Tompkins. And I'm David Rose. This year's fire season was different than years past. A wet, cool spring was helpful, but it's been too dry for too long. Matthew Smith has been tracking the fire season and the fallout with the air quality. Matt, and we, this weekend we got fresh air, and it sounds like we got a big help on the fire lines as well, right? Yeah, Jamie, David, the DNR tells me they need inches of rain to truly tamp down some of the worst fires, but what we saw this weekend certainly is a big help. Today, some crews are actually pulling equipment out of the field. That's good news because while a lot of us were tired of smoke, these firefighters, they're just plain tired. Driving through North Bend, a welcome sight looms overhead. Snow. Going so long without rain sucks. It gets a little unsettling. Gage Bailey is a U.S. Fire Service forestry technician, a local guy who's spending more and more time in our area. Most recently in North Bend, fighting the Lock Katrine fire. Watch the traffic. All around our state, we've seen crews battle fires week after week after week. From the Bolt Creek fire near Skykomish to the Goat Rocks fire in Lewis County, Nakia Creek over in Clark County, and it's just to name a few. By no means is this our state's worst fire season in recent history, but the drought and the sheer number of fires add up over time. We are coming to the point in the year where a lot of our seasonals have to return to school uh, or the, the full-time employees. Again, they've been going 10, 12 hours a day for a long time. And so we are also managing cumulative fatigue. And that, according to Washington's DNR, is why the rain we saw this week was so necessary. And many of the fires have been in remote, hard to reach places. Sure, planes help, but ground crews have an uphill battle. And frankly, the setup for fires, droughts, dry conditions, they're becoming all too familiar. While climate change is probably exacerbating that and we are seeing them on a potentially more frequent basis, you know, we've already been having very early fire starts to our summer fire season and going, as you can see, much later. Definitely seeing the fire season going later into the year. Like it's like being in October and fighting fires. Usually it was going down, having to go to California to see them and now it's right in our backyard. And despite record funding, federal firefighters are harder and harder to find. A story we've been tracking since June. Guys like Gage work 14 oh, days on and three days off, but finding way. recruits yeah. has been brutal. Places like North Bend are understaffed. Their fire crews are minimal. They're barely able to staff one of their engines. So we're close to the end, but truly they do need inches of rain before some of these bigger fires are put out. But there is some good news. The expectation is, is that they'll have full containment soon. Bolt Creek by the end of the month and Lock Katrine out in North Bend by the 1st of November. Live in the newsroom, Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.